welcome to the Arctic. For centuries, polar bears have been an enduring symbol of the area, but recently they've begun to change their habitat, many descending on a small, remote northern Alaskan island. We went there during peak bear season to discover why they're being pushed closer and closer to civilization and what it means for the entire planet. Our journey into the Arctic wild begins by boarding this small plane in Fairbanks, Alaska. And yes, we have just crossed the Arctic Circle. We have no radio communication with the outside world right now. Definitely a first for me, but this is spectacular. Wow, we finally made it. Chilly, right? Our destination, the isolated island village of Kaktovik, Alaska. The population, just 239. Home sweet home. A stark and striking landscape, but not quite the snow blanketed mountains you might expect from the Arctic. A change that has reached into all corners of life here as we are about to see. We head out and soon find what we came for. We left the shore three minutes ago and already there are four polar bears right there swimming in the water. That's incredible. I mean, what are we, 50 feet from them? We're pretty darn close. A mother with her triplets. These bears, a drab shade of brown, wearing the signs of spending so much time on muddied land. Wow. Polar bear's natural environment is out on the sea ice, where seals are plentiful. But in summer, the ice melts, forcing the bears to forage for food on land. The bears used to spend just three weeks on land, but today they are stranded for nearly three months because the ice is staying melted longer. Scientists say it's due to global warming. Local resident Robert remembers the old days. When I first came here, the pack ice was inside of the shore all summer. That's why we have a lot of polar bears here. Their habitat's going away. They don't all make it. This Buford population is now down from 1,200 to 900 in the last 10 years. The world should be interested in this. Their forced proximity, treacherous. This bear rummaging through garbage. Another peering into a window. Our boat captain, Bruce, once got too close jumping into his car for safety. Is that the most frightened you've ever been in your life? Yeah. <laughs> I would think so. Our own close encounter came late that night. My producers and I first caught a glimpse of the stunning northern lights. It's unbelievable. Then the sound of dogs barking. Yeah, that makes me a little nervous. A warning that polar bears aren't far off. Let's go inside, guys. That's enough. We heard some dogs barking, so we're going to stay close to this door. Locals are now used to the bears. Good attraction for all the tourists to us. They're a nuisance. Marie is a witness to the changes wrought by rising temperatures. They can smell your good food anywhere. Most people here have firearms, just in case. Uh, we try to scare them off before anything else. They had broken down our door to our cellar. That's food for the community. A village at the top of the world. 30 years ago, you'd be sitting here and you could see ice out in the ocean. There's none now. The front line of a changing planet. There is mama polar bear with her two cubs, not that far from us, once in a lifetime. And we are happy to report that the ice has finally come back up there. The polar bears right now are once again living on it. But researchers we spoke to say being away from the ice and their natural food source, the seals, for so long is causing them to become smaller, sending them into the winter weaker. Oh, no. Yeah, they just don't belong where they were right there. And we could tell you were scared when you heard mm -hmm. those dogs. You know, we got out of the car really quickly. And yes, when we heard the dogs, what we were told, you're supposed to stay in a 360 formation with your group because you want to be looking at all sides. It's not the polar bears you see, it's the polar bear you don't see. My and goodness. they can run very fast, 25 miles per hour charging. Really? So you have to be on guard the entire wow. time you're around that area. Wow. It's really disturbing and amazing. Thank you so much. Especially, is it going to have much more on this? Yes, Nightline. Yes, thank you for that <laughs> plug. Yes, thank you, Robin. More on you can see much more of our journey on a special edition of oh, Nightline. That's going to be next week. Right? <laughs> well, hey.
Hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.